Oh, that's the first one we're gonna give you. You know it. How? <laughs> you know, Psycho Kid gets, comes out first. Because he's gotta lay the groundwork. Strangely enough, and now that I think about it, uh, it may be not so appropriate, but whatever, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for Jimmy. Who is not playing tonight, but that's okay. You gotta take off Psycho Kid, I'm sorry. There we go. But not too much, Jimmy, because he wasn't playing tonight. So we're bringing in a guest for the big guns, for the hero guns. We're bringing in a guest star, new appearance by the lovely one and only, the Heat Princess, actually the Heat Queen, formerly known as the Heat Princess. She is now the Heat Queen because she's literally had that seat for like two years now, straight, and brings it every night with her amazing outfits. I have no idea who she is, but she's awesome. I hope she's not like a Russian oligarch, because I, I think she might be. So, I don't know what to tell you there. Can we get in this? Can we get in this? Get, can we get in this? Let me get in this. Let me get in this, man. Let's get in this. Come on, bring me in here. Let's go. He Queen, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hold on. Can we stop this? Can we stop this? Can we go? This is going on too long already. Okay. He Queen, can we, thank you very much, E Queen. Appreciate you. What's up? What's going on? How are you doing? How goes it? He Cultura. Heat. Cultura, he cultura. I am Studio Mogura. Studio M O G U R A. Let's just get right to it. PayPal. Dot me slash Studio Mogura. Cash App. Dollar sign Studio Mogura. Donations all go to the film. Put your name in the memo. Your name gets into the film, both in the credits and IMDb listing. Buy the book Full Moon Nights. Available on Amazon. Nine ninety nine. Available on hardcover on Barnes and Noble online. It's sixteen ninety nine, but it's hardcover and it's really nice. Get them both. Mature audiences only. I mean, I gotta go through that really fast so we can get right, 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 right into it. Because we have to get into it. I'm still lit up, bro. Look at me. Look at me. Look, you see this? This is this is fire coming right now. So I gotta calm down. I think I got super hair. I think it's still there. First, I would like to say. Oh wait, I didn't think I already said first. So second, I would like to say. First, maybe second, can't remember anymore, who cares? I had to bring out the uh, Heat Christmas Day jersey because all my other Heat shirts are freaking dirty, so they're actually in the laundry right now, which is what you hear in the background. If you hear it in the background, you're probably gonna hear the music. That music, and that's gonna be the laundry, so I, I apologize for that. So like, today was a day that we got things done, not only on Heat, but actually like chores. Like I went out, I did ran errands, I did stuff. It was, I felt good. And this, te this team, and you get home, and you sit down after dealing with all the traffic and all the bullshit, and you see this the C team, and they bring it, and they get the work done. Down a man, down their best man, down their guy, down their leader. You're still worried. <laughs> You're still worried. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was worried for a minute there. But I was like, you know what? I brought myself back to reality. I was like, look, this, this, this happens. Just move forward, move forward, move forward. Because if we were sh not showing improvement, that's where we had a problem. I mean, like, there's team, other teams where you can point to and you can look to how they're not showing improvement. You need to worry about them. You don't need to worry about us. This was an exciting, I mean, you don't get to see these kind of game-winning shots very often, dude. This is why this guy needs to have the ball at the end of the game. You know, in the small amount of time that we have seen Hero play for this team, he has had a number of, like, crucial, big-time clutch shots, bro. He has been dynamite, dude. He has shown you that he is a guy that you want the ball in his hands. You want the ball in his hands more than you want it in Jimmy's hands. You know, Jimmy takes that three against... You know, Celtics, and I'm like, let's go, Jimmy, take me. He, and I know he's probably going to miss it, but whatever, dude. If he hits it, Jesus Christ, that would be amazing. But if Hero takes that three, I have the utmost confidence that it's going in. I'm like, that's it. We just beat these people. He took that shot, and I let me tell you something. That shot, the way that he took it, was well, the amazing thing was that that was the third time that he had to pull back, regather, and then he took the three. He did it once, I believe, in the first half. Again, it happened, you know, in the second half, where they were both in the second half. I think it was once in the first half, once in the second half, and then it happened that third time. And that third time, when he had to do that again, man, I was like, 
He's going to get it right now. He's going to get it. Hero is that guy, bro. First, I was going to call this episode Max More Like It. But then when Eric Reed said, you know, Tyler was the hero. And that's what, that's why I'm like, mm, that's the name of the title. So, Hikotura, season two, episode nine. Nine. Look, man, I don't know. What pisses me off about Sacramento is that, like, you know, they're going to play you hard. And then, you know, they come out here and they beat you and stuff like that. And they fuck up your shit. And they're not ultimately going to fucking do anything. You know? Uh, you know they're going to end up, like, one of the worst teams in the league. And it's like, what the hell? And, like, you look at that team and it's like, they've got good people. They've got enough good people. they got great players. they got, you know, Herder is like, he hates us because he, of, of, the, of the Atlanta deal. Because we used to always beat him in Atlanta. So he hates, he hates us. So that's why he was just, like, nailing everything and doing it. So Bonus is great, dude. And with the, I didn't know Dilbo Dilbo was there. And Dilbo Dilbo is, you know, a veteran leader. He's a veteran guy. He could, you know, he could lead you. He's like Drogic almost. So it's like, they've got a good team. So they should do something with their team. Do something, man. you got great guys. But don't do something with us. Man, I really want to say this is Hero's team. but And I wrote that down. But I'm like, mm, no, it's still Jimmy's. It's still Jimmy's, but... Hero has got to take the shots. Jimmy's got to see it, bro. And Jimmy, I know Jimmy wants a shot, but Jimmy's got to Jimmy's gotta pass that shot. If Hero's there, dude, he's got to pass that shot. I don't want to say that I'm waiting for that moment, but um, the moment will come, man. And, you know, it's, it's we're going to need a three, and it's either going to be Jimmy or Hero. And, 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 and I hope Jimmy passes it to Hero because Hero can make that shot, but much better than Jimmy. And I know Jimmy understands that. Jimmy's got to understand that. But he want, Jimmy wants to hit that that. Sorry, I heard like some shit like, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Is someone like trying to bring something up? It's like the stupid fucking laundry shit, which I bet you gets picked up. And I bet you you caught me like, like freaking out. Like, oh my God, what the fuck was that? I'm, gonna, I'm about to get stabbed. Whatever, bro. If I fucking get stabbed, I fucking get stabbed. And it comes out streaming online and it goes famous and viral. Oh my God. Oh, he got stabbed by Freddy Cooper. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Whatever, bro. You know, that shit happens. You gotta get stabbed, you get stabbed. I mean, I, I had shit for every guy, bro. Struce just fucking absolutely terminated. That's right. He's the terminator. Okay? And when he hits some shit, he terminates you. He Struce hits you and then he's like terminated. That's what Struce thinks in his head after every shot. Terminated. We need one of these in here. Ah, oh, I needed that. I know it's 11 p.m. but whatever. Bam, finally asserted himself against Sabonis. Sabonis was taking it in there, bro. And he, he's a good matchup for Bam. But uh, he, I saw Bam be very, very assertive in this game. Very good. You know, and Robinson did enough. Robinson did enough. He, he came out there. He hit shots when he could. And you can see it. This was another game where Robinson, he took his shots. He looked for his shots. And he looked at it, found it, and he took them. Doing the steps. I gotta give ups to Deadman. Deadman played a hell of a game. Probably his best game this season. Because he came in there with Bam being in trouble. He came in there and he, he was effective. He was super effective. He did his part. He was, you know, he was a factor there, dude. And they said that this was Lowry's best game of the season as well. His best scoring game. All right, with Jimmy Butler out, uh, everybody stepped up. You know, there were a couple moments there. But Hero, man, when they were going back and forth, I was like, oh, man. I was saying, go just get the two, man, because they're giving you the two. Like, you can just get the two, the two, the two, the two. You just need to stop them on the three. You could tell Sacramento was locked into just hitting a three. You know? And it's becoming very blatantly obvious with a lot of teams, and it's kind of annoying. Because that's what everybody wants, and everybody wants to shoot, and everybody wants to see. You know, Hero was falling into that trap. And I say that after he hits a game-winning three. Before the game-winning three, there was a moment in the fourth quarter where he was, he was, you know, he was hitting, he was hitting shots, he was making plays, and he was tempted to go for that three, but it was after... He had just gotten stopped for the second time with the, you know, and had to, to, to regather. After that, he went and he took it into the paint. And so when that last time where he had to take that three, it was like, and he had to regather again, it was like, oh, fuck. But I remembered that, yo, he had, he had done it twice, man. So this might be, he might get this one. I literally thought that in a split second. I was like, oh, man, he might get this one. That's, that's our guy, man. That's our guy, bro. I know you, I know you love him more now. You want to trade him now? You want to trade him for Kevin Durant now? You know that bullshit? You want to trade him for fucking Kyrie Irving now? Shame on you. If you were going to get rid of that stigma, you would have gotten rid of it already. You know? And it's like, it almost feels like the, you know, the media tried to manufacture their own version of the big three, and that's basically what Brooklyn was. Ever since, you know, LeBron, Wade, and Bosh, it has felt like that.
What can you say? What else do you want to say? This was this was all about that last shot because again, I mean, you want to think that like we should have been, we should have pounded this team even down Butler, but it's not so easy anymore. Bad teams now can get in back in the game because of the three. So it makes it really difficult to be like, oh, it's going to be an easy schedule. It's not like the NFL. With the NFL, there you don't play everybody. You play a, a division. You play your home division, your own division. You play another division. And then you play an interconference division. In the NBA, you play everybody. And then everybody has a three. Because everybody's got the three, man. Don't, don't tell me that you, not every team has a, has a three-point shooter. That, that's, you know, like, you're playing in the NBA for a reason. The game has changed a lot. A lot. More so than I think it ever has. It's really hard to just roll through everybody unless you have, like, you know, a Golden State where you have, like, a bunch of stars. A bunch, or everyone's a star. When you look at our team, it's like, our team has stars, too. Our, our team has recognizable guys and guys that have been, you know, had their a bunch of moments. You know, everybody on this team has had a moment. So it's like, we could, you know, there's no reason for us not to think that we're, at, we're not at that level as well. I know it's like a lot of Golden State worshiping, but they're the standard right now. Even though they're down, I mean, and they're down. They've, they're on a two-game losing streak now because of us. But you notice that they're down, and no one's really panicking, though. No one's really panicking. No one's really saying, oh, it's over, that's it, oh, the Steve Kerr, blah, 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 blah. Nah, bro, no one's saying that. What about us, like, how come we were like, oh, shit, all hell's breaking loose. It's over for them. Butler's, like, old already. It's just that the league is good. The league is that much better. I think it caught us off guard this season in the beginning where we came in and we had everybody back i believe we had a hot start last year and it was like oh well you know it should be the same thing because we're getting everybody back so and then you rarely get everybody back teams rarely get everybody back we, we come in there and we're like oh, okay like we've got everybody back you know we were, we were in the eastern conference finals we, we're gonna start off with wins 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 no problem we really underestimated like hey the entire league has gotten better and I know people are going to say, well, you shouldn't have underestimated that because you saw how, like, everybody made moves and you didn't make moves. And I, I'm, I'm okay with no making, not making any moves because we got a lot of guys. We got enough guys. We, we, we were good. I don't want to say someone more reliable at three because Duncan right now is starting to step up. He's showing you. He's had his flashes, but he's just got to be more and more. We need more. And I think it's just playing time. Put him out there. Put him out there. Put the ball in his hands. There were a couple games last year where he was, like, the point guard, you know, where he, like, played point guard. And he did really well. And I think he's great at passing the ball. That's why, I mean, you saw that with him and the connection with him and Bam. It's not the same as before where it was like he comes in there and he does nothing. He's not even effective. He's like, and then he disappears and he goes back. And he's like, what the fuck? I would have liked to see more of him, but I don't want to say, we, you know, you didn't need him. But, oh, you know, I guess we didn't need him because, you know, we won the game without him. But at the same time, he did have a couple wide open shots that he missed twice. And had one, two in a row and missed it. So that's why it's like, okay, well, guys are going to miss shots. You can't get really too hung up on that. It's not about the fact that whether they made the shot or missed the shot. It's about did they take the shot. That's ultimately what gives you the passing grade. Like, if you make the shot or miss the shot, that to me. Sure, if you if you miss every single goddamn shot for, like, a, a record fucking streak, I mean, at that point, goodbye. But it's not really like that. To me, it's like if the guy... Does a guy show that he is willing and wanting to take the shot? Like, I don't think so, bro. That The whole big three was all alphas. Golden State, that's all alphas. Boston, Milwaukee, those are like teams that are practically all alphas. Everything changed after those early years, man. So this is the those that was the foundation of this generation. But look at that, man. Four and five. What have we been talking about here? What did I say before? The focus is to get back to 500, bro. We get back to 500 and everything's, you know, a little bit more calm. Even now, right now, everything's more calm. We're okay, bro. You don't want to stick in this area, but okay, let's go into let's go into Indiana and let's get a game from the Pacers now. Now we got to get an Easter Conference game. Now we got to start focusing on the Easter Conference because after that, we're gonna have Portland coming in, and I know they're pissed off. But hey, welcome to South Beach, bro. And then we get Charlotte twice, and I don't know if Charlotte's good or not. I mean, they're never ever good. But, you know, they always have that year where it's like, oh, they're good, and then they're not good. So, I don't know. You tell me. Are they good? Are Charlotte good this year? Should we be worried? Because I have no fucking idea. Do you fucking know? Oh, you know all of a sudden? No, you don't. Nobody knows. Who gives it? Charlotte doesn't even know if they're fucking good. So, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going to worry about Charlotte. That's two times back-to-back. -back. No, two times Thursday and Saturday that we play them. And we, I don't care. Win one of those fucking games, and, we, and I'll be fine. I'll be happy. Because the goal, goal is to get to 500 at the Pacers. You got to imagine they're going to drop one of those fucking games. And then you gotta protect home court against Portland. You can't let Portland come in here. You can't get you can't let no team from that far out west come into Miami and fucking win. 
You got to show those people that, hey, that's, that's too long of a trip for you. More so than it is for us to go up there. And it would be harder for us. It's harder for us because when we go up there, the the altitude is elevated. And so people from Miami and people in Florida, like, they die out there, you know? And them coming down here, oh, it's great. There's more oxygen out here. But there's also more cocaine. Uh, there were 26 lead changes in this game. How crazy is that? But they had said if the Heat lost this game, it, was a, it would be really bad. And, of course, it would have been really fucking bad if the Heat lost this game because it would have been four losses at home. And that's significant because the only other team to have four losses at home is the fucking Nets. But we're okay, man. We're okay. We're doing fine. This is just the road. This is just the path. This is just how it is. You know, pull out these games in the end, man. We got to find our guys who are willing to go take those shots. And Hero is the guy that will always take that fucking shot. It is a blessing to have a guy that wants to take the fucking shot, bro. And even, it's a fucking miracle. It's a fucking miracle to have a guy that wants to take the shot and can actually hit it. Hero can hit the shot, bro. So I want him taking it always. I don't give a fuck anymore, man. Don't even bring that shit to me. Well, that was exciting. So enjoy it. So we're gonna we're gonna bounce out of here so that I can at least have you know some time to to edit the thing and, and get it out of here. But just like that, man. You know, boom, four and five. We're doing good on the road. Now we're gonna hit the fucking Pacers, bro. We're gonna hit him in the fucking mouth real good on Friday, dude. So just get ready for that. And then you know what happens, bro. After every game, he go through the win or loss. That's what we're gonna do, bro. So uh, I don't know, man. I wasn't even thinking about maybe going out to see the game like to a bar or something. But I, I never like to do that because I don't drink. So I don't really. Uh, I kind of don't see the point, but um, but I was thinking about that. Maybe maybe now, maybe I should do that. Maybe I'll do that. And if I do that, maybe I'll, I'll record like at least the audio version of Hiko do that from outside. And we'll see. We'll see what we do. Maybe I can make it something weird and different. Um, okay, so Hiko do that. We'll back at it again Friday night, 7, uh, 7 p.m. the game starts. So after the game, Hiko do that starts. I'm sorry for the late start for today. I just had to get everything fucking going. And, and, and there was, you know, I, I was trying to edit literally to just, it was the gift. I wanted to get the gift of, the print of you know, the heat clean. And that was a fucking problem. And it turned into like a three-hour fucking job. So I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, okay, so Hiko do that. He cultural. He cultural. I am Studio Mogura, Studio M O G U R A. PayPal.me slash Studio Mogura, uh, Cash App, Dollar Sign Studio Mogura. Hit it up. Put your name in the memo. Your name gets in the film. Your name gets in the credits in the IMDb. Buy the book, Full Moon Nights, Mature Audiences Only. There's too much drugs and too much sex and like craziness, you know, for, for, for younger audience. Sorry, you can't have to do that. So just, you know, hit it up. But you know what? You know what? I, a lot of that shit happened, to be honest with you, a lot of that shit happened in high school, man. So if you're a high school 17-year-old, you can do it. Yeah, I think you can do it. Anyway, you'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you, you go see all these horror movies, man. All these horror movies, people ripping out their heads and all this shit and blood. Ah! And all, this shit. all these kids are watching it. Yeah, it's, uh, there's none of that in this thing. There's none of that. There's just, you know, people smoking fucking weed and having a good time and fucking listening to music. Honestly, that's all it really is. So go check it out, all right? Full Moon Nights, Amazon, or Barnes & Noble. Don't freak out. Just freak out.